right, well, hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of the TF Tuesday podcast. My name is Zill. We are coming to you today with a slightly different format and slightly different topic from what we usually tackle. Recent events have occurred in the TF space, and I think it would be remiss for us to not use our platform to talk about what has happened and discuss what the implications are for the transformation community as a whole. So I'm going to get right to it and be very blunt in terms of what the situation is for people who don't know. Don't forget, I'm also here. (laughs) Yes, sorry. (laughs) I'm Kay Libra, and I will be the co-host. Yes, to talk about this situation. So to give kind of a overview, uh, about four or five days ago, uh, an art piece was posted by an artist by the name of Bubbe, B-U-B-B-E-H. And this art piece, to just describe with the uh, bluntest but vaguest of terms, um, involved a transformation with four different individuals. It was a family, so two parents and two kids. And the transformation image involved the children undergoing transformation, and then the parents undergoing transformation, and then sexual relations between the two which most people would call child porn. So let's just put that out there. Um, The description for the image uh, said that it was a really fun and dark four page commission. I will tag the commissioners if they so wish, end quote. Um, Now, as you can imagine, there was a lot of blowback on posting such images Mm -hmm. and there were a number of people who responded to the image saying that it was uh graphic imagery of uh or graphic depictions of children in a transformation sequence that involved sexual elements which is deeply fucked up and advised the artist that they should turn it down the artist had two responses the first being and beginning quote hey y'all sorry if the last commission i posted upset people it didn't cross my mind as being upsetting because people i work with are always lovely and sweet and adults as a furry artist i get a lot of interesting requests but know that art is a safe way to express some personal experiences traumas and things like that anyways if people are uncomfortable and don't feel safe following my art anymore i totally understand and apologize again end quote The second journal read, Hey everyone, this is all a mess, so I'm going to be leaving FA. I thank you all for the support. Sorry about ending it on such an awkward note. End quote. Yeah, awkward. And then deleted. Yeah, That's the word. Fucking awkward. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, fucking awkward. Um, And the artist has now purged their gallery and set their account towards deletion. Um, So that's kind of the first overview of the situation. And so what I'm hoping to talk about today uh, with Kay Libra is, first of all, what the fuck just happened? And second of all, what kind of implications that has on us as a community that these pieces of work uh, were being posted and shared by an artist with quite a large reach, I will note. Like, this was not... 11,000 plus or something? Yeah, like 11,000 plus followers on FA. Most people who are hearing this podcast probably know who that artist is. They were very prolific in producing art content, especially producing comics of transformation um, and working with various different commissioners. So this is not someone with a small... Uh, footprint uh, posting in some random corner of the internet. This was on FA for a lot of fucking people to see. Uh And no alarm bells were rung before this was posted. So maybe I'll just take a step back because I've summarized the situation and talked a lot and uh, turn to you, Libra. Uh, What are your initial thoughts on this entire situation? My initial thoughts are if you did not think that this could possibly be upsetting to some people, then that says everything about the person. Um, Your perception about what you were doing didn't seem wrong to you. So that is the, um, that's, that's the telling thing there. I don't like 
a lot of things that get posted. And I don't want to get into generalizing things just yet because I think there's I think this is also the time to bring up a bunch of other shit as some people have very uh uncharitably and incorrectly brought up as like, oh, this is the reason that this is actually not that bad. It is fucking bad. It is very fucking bad. Um, you know, you will get all the people who will talk about uh this being not the same because there's no real people. Look, motherfucker, if there are no real people, then there's no porn to draw, asshole. Okay? And second, um, I find it really, I find it really fucked up also that this was just, it, it was, it's bullshit for somebody to say something like, I did something a little darker than usual, and, um, ooh, like, oh yeah, but also I didn't think that uh, this would make people so uncomfortable, and I understand. No, no, you, you knew, and you wanted to make a point. You wanted to make a fucking point. Now that you've made it, there's a lot of people who didn't fucking like it. And now you think it's awkward that you had to leave. Get the fuck out of here. You could have never, ever told anybody about this. You could have never, ever fucking, like, n nobody. Nobody had to be named. This could have just been something buried. Something for maybe somebody to stumble upon years later when you were fucking done. But, but here you are. And now... And now it's a mess for you. You want to know the only reason I bring this stuff up, stuff up like, oh, you know, like it would it would have been okay if they if they would have you know just like not shown it to people. The point is that people who do art for a living, when you have to live between living and dying, people sometimes your scruples don't matter as much as not being without a home to live in. And I get mm -hmm. that. Is it completely okay? I. I don't like it. I don't do it. That's why I have my scruples. All right. And that's why I even regret like some fucking art that I've done. And it's like, oh, aged up totally spies. I won't do that again, you know, because I, I don't like it. They're teenagers. Um, <clears throat> and I make my things the way I do and show the things I do because I am really conscious about the effect that my work has on others and also the message that it spreads and encourages because art and content and media does affect people. It is not some instant brainwashing hypnotoad shit, but it, but, but it's a cumulative effect, you know, mm -hmm. when you're feeding into like, like what, what do you mean? Like it doesn't mean anything if, uh, if it's just like art transformation community needs art because it's like so expressive and important to people for some people it's even like a need and you know unhealthy or not it's like wow look at the influence art can have on somebody i see this and now i'm like thinking a large number of people have finally found a piece of content that was uploaded that made them want to speak up about it on mass yeah and this probably i i kind of hope this won't be the last time because as far as i'm concerned and i've brought this up like periodically but you know there's just a lot of contents and themes that i find really fucked up that are just normalized they're completely normalized and i just and, and i just don't understand why um like there, there's like I get I get the arguments that people make but it's it's just it's something that if people want to like be considered like to be okay to be around then yeah you need that self-awareness been talking about that since like the moment I even got to say this out into any sort of public forum just that you have to understand what the fuck you're doing if you can't do that then you're irresponsible you're going to hurt people and if one day there's some kind of consequence to that and you're surprised, that's really your fucking problem. Well, there's also something I want to note specifically about this situation. And I'm thinking about this, like, I think this whole thing is deeply fucked up, to be clear. And, like, I have, I, I have a lot of thoughts about that. But I'm just going to uh, tackle it from one very specific angle right off the bat because I want to talk about it from a legal perspective. And I know this might sound a little bit boring, but what was posted literally fits the definition under U.S. law for graphic imagery of children. And that is illegal. And 
can get a lot of people in trouble. Not only, not only the person who's commissioned it or the person who has drawn it, but also the website on which it is hosted. So if you want to approach this from a purely utilitarian perspective, this shit is very damaging if it is hosted on a site like Fur Affinity, a community-run website, because if it's hosting images like this, and to be clear, this image clearly violated their like upload policy, but if you're making images like this and putting it on Fur Affinity, you are now endangering that website's ability to function, okay? The actual definition under US law for child pornography is, and I, I'm quoting this here from the actual statute, any visual depiction, including any photograph, film, video, picture, or computer or computer generated image of sexually explicit conduct where, and then this is like a uh, subheading, such a visual depiction is a digital image, computer image, or computer generated image that is or is indistinguishable from that of a minor engaging in a sexually explicit act. So when we talk about what this means, and I just, I want to be really fucking clear on this point because I know there's always an argument about, oh, it's art or whatever. If I'm talking about this specifically from a legal perspective, it fits the definition. And when we talk about the term indistinguishable, that word is very important here in this law because later on in the act, it says the term indistinguishable is used with respect to a depiction means virtually indistinguishable in the in that the depiction is such that an ordinary person viewing the depiction would conclude that the depiction is of an actual or imagined minor engaging in sexually explicit conduct. Yep. So I just I want to be very clear about that. That is literally illegal. <laughs> and we're going to talk a lot about, I think, the morality, and I, I'm glad that we started with that off the bat because it's morally reprehensible. But, you know, there's always a conversation when we talk about stuff like this about, like, oh, it's the pro-shippers versus the antis. I don't give a fuck about either of those labels. People need to think for themselves. But on this specific issue, it is literally illegal, and if you are putting that material onto for affinity, you are literally risking the entire fucking community by doing shit like that. Yep. And, and other communities. I'm not I'm not saying I'm not saying the fucking authorities are going to come in on their cavalry and immediately be like you made fucking porn of a child turning into a cow or something. But this has a chilling effect if it's allowed to spread. If we allow this shit to be there and fester, it, it's like that old saying of, you know, if you, you never can have a Nazi stay at your bar because if you tolerate them, then they're going to bring their friends and all of a sudden you're running a fucking Nazi bar. It's the same fucking thing. Yeah. And you cannot allow that shit to slide. Yeah. That's the best way to absolutely guarantee that everything will get worse. Um, there should be no fucking room for this at all. Um, I don't really give a fuck if you are... Um, I don't really give a fuck if you're worried about like kinks or whatever. There's no kink to this, okay? You don't do this. There is no time or place for this. You want, you want to talk about pedophilia? Go to a therapist. If you have something to fucking do with that, fucking go to a therapist. Seek help. And I fucking mean that, all right? As somebody who actually wants to see things get better, you know, for everybody... It's not the most fucking uh, cathartic thing to hear somebody say, but, you know, it's the very least anybody I wish they could or would do. Um, but absolutely, under no circumstances, should this go un ignored or, or tolerated, as you said. The other thing to know is, and I'm going to be fucking clear about this, Whoever the fuck that was who commissioned it should absolutely be known to people. There is no reason that any artist or any other person should be suckered, pressured, or just like, you know, conveniently manipulated into making something like this and fucking their lives up and fucking the lives of the people around them up. It is very fucking simple. Oh, 
you know, what about mobs? What about this? What about cancel culture? I don't give a fuck. That has nothing to do with the fact that this is very purely, again, from a utilitarian standpoint, if you want to protect people, including yourself, you need to know who these people are. Do you mm -hmm. need to go out and hurt them? Ha ha. Absolutely not. You don't need to go do that. But what you can easily do is shut them out of your community. You can shut them out of your service as an artist. You can make it known that this is not acceptable. And it is an easy, it is so easy to act on not letting people do anything. It costs you negative fucking, negative fucking energy. All right. Yeah. And you, and you actually end up doing a good thing by abstaining from something. All well, right. That's the other, that's the other problem with people like this. They frequently will push the line until you get into a situation like this where we're clearly over the fucking line and it's like, how the fuck did we get here? Yeah. Like, I guarantee you this is not the first time whoever this is has commissioned work and pushed the line in some way. You well, know, like we don't, people like that do not start with that. Okay. Yeah. Um, they push and they push and they push. And, you know, this is the problem. And I, I don't, this term has been fucking uh obliterated in the recent fucking media conversations about things and I, so I, I don't like this term now but it's the actual correct usage of it this is how groomers operate okay they will go in and they will use manipulative fucking situations to try and position themselves in a manipulative position of power over other people and i'm not saying that this person was grooming an artist but what i'm saying is it's the same sort of tactics and when you have that mindset and you go into these situations and you pressure people, you're employing similar tactics to try and get whatever it is that you're looking for. In this case, art depicting illegal things. Yes. Um, and I just, I do worry about, you know, this commissioner, whoever it is, getting to continue to exist in a way where they can continue to commission art and, you know potentially put other artists in this position and to be clear i don't have sympathy for bubba in this situation because again if if they had gone and done this art because they needed food to eat and then never fucking posted it online anywhere no one would have known but clearly they also felt like they could go out and post this art and get away with it and be very and, cheeky about it too the be, fact that you, yeah you know it, it it wasn't even the matter of like hey new commission hope you enjoy bye it was like this is a little different now like what the a fuck really is fun wrong and dark you? commission yeah like, that's exact quote a really fun and dark commission and if you don't believe me you can go check on the fucking tour archives of fucking fur affinity it's still up there the description is up there i have read that from the fucking archive okay yeah that is what they said you're being a cheeky like, little shit you know what you're doing you understand what it means you are totally full of shit and whatever you get, uh, whatever you get from this situation, you might deserve it. But yeah. but most definitely, what you deserve is to be ousted from this shit. I don't ever want to fucking. I don't ever want to hear people speak well of of somebody like that because you got you, you uh, gotta fucking say, man, it's it's galling. It's really yeah. fucking galling, especially since this gets mixed up in something that um, so many people are fucking ashamed of already, and that's like already. Mm -hmm. That already creates so many fucking weird gray zones that if you have compassion and thought in your head, you start to think, man, maybe I'm a really fucked up person, you know? Maybe there's something really wrong with me. Maybe I am a disgusting, gross creature. Maybe that's why being human sucks, you know? That's traumatizing mm -hmm. shit. And you're going to tell me that... And, and there will be people out there who are just, like, upset that Bubby is gone. Upset that they're gone. Oh, you don't get your little content machine anymore. You don't really give a fuck about anything. You don't give a fuck about anybody's freedom to post things. You don't really give a fuck about what the effect is on other people. You don't care. You want your content machine. And now you're sad that it's gone. Guess well, what? Uh, fucking go. Just go. I mean, the one thing I want to point in on there, because I, I think I want to get to the enablers in a second. But um, one thing I really want to focus in on is that point you made about how, you know, there's a lot of people who have a lot of shame wrapped up in transformation 
and are working through these things. And like you said, when someone posts fucked up shit like that, it can make people really question, you know, like, why am I a part of this community? Like, if, like, you know, for example, if people view transformation in this way, what does that say about me, even if I don't like that? Yeah. And it, it, it's so, it's so deeply, deeply frustrating to see that effect on people because of one fucked up person and one fucked up artist who went along as an accomplice, you know? Like, we've spent a lot of time talking on this show about the ways in which people can appreciate transformation in a healthy way that they can, you know, embody that in their lives in some way and be open with other people. And I really don't want this situation to force people into a situation where they feel like they have to retreat now because, <laughs> you know, like it's, it's damaging. It's damaging for our mental health collectively in that this climate. We had too. that shit there. And yeah. that we had to process that and that now we have to grapple and talk about this and make an episode about it because it's like, Jesus, you know? Like, yeah, this can't, this can't be ignored. Um, so we're not. Mm. Uh, no, absolutely. And, uh, and, and right now, uh, what you brought up, like, you know, groomer is almost a fucking dirty word now because it's been horribly yeah. twisted. And here we are. I'm like, oh, here's a legitimate, here, here's a legitimate potential for that. Except um, now it could be turned on like a completely different set of people, um, and and yeah. that that shouldn't not be allowed to happen. Uh, and and yes, I love that you put it that way. That um, you know, if you're struggling with this, and suddenly you find something objectionable that just gets either hand waved or accepted or tolerated, you're just like, oh my god, I'm like that too. Why? Are, why would you let that happen to other people if you care about them? Hmm? Mm -hmm. Ask yourself that question. I well, I will say I do want to say though, it, I have seen a lot of people who actually like made a statement and were like, "Hey, this is really fucked up." And you know what? I got to be honest. This is the first time in a very long time where I saw accounts all over the fucking place talking about this, like this specific situation, and being like, "Hey, just so you know, I think this is fucked up." this should not have happened yeah and, and that, that that is hardening like i i just i want to i want to put that out there first because again we will get to the enablers but like there were a lot of people who did I'm stand up and say hey this is really fucked up and that's what we should be doing if we want to call ourselves our, a community like that's the kind of stuff we have to do yes you have to communicate yes that's part of the fucking word um i'm sorry that i keep going to them i just um it's just that when when there even has to be a discourse about this, I start really getting upset. Um, and mm -hmm. and the other reason that this is so big is because it's a big artist uh, with a lot of followers that it made these kind of waves. You never fucking know. Uh, yeah. you, you never really fucking know. And uh, you should. Sh the, there should be awareness and uh, there should be some form of accountability. This is the basic uh this is like a basic approach the platform uh you are not allowed yeah. to do this stuff anymore for you are endangering everybody around you mm -hmm. you know never god man you know i think it's also really good for anybody who's still listening to just remember that from utility if you like certain things if you like good things don't let this be a thing at all ever it's it's yeah. you know you don't it's have literally to literally that simple yeah you don't have to feel as angry as we do or feel as like taken aback or anything like that you don't have to be super emotional about it just understand that this sucks at the at, mm -hmm. at the very least you know you want to talk about freedoms and shit to do what you want to do well you better maintain that by maintaining these spaces yeah and again, like, I want to be really clear about this issue in particular, because, you know, we've had past episodes where like, hey, you know, like, there's some like themes of bestiality with some of the transformation stuff. What's up with that? Blah, blah, blah. We can have lots of conversations about that. You can go listen to fucking season two, episode 19, if you want, uh, like more in depth thoughts on that point but like this one in particular is literally illegal like i cannot stress that enough it is literally illegal and i know that there are people out there 
who, again, and, you know, talk about enablers, people who go out there and say, it's not the same thing, you know, oh, this is like, you know, people should be allowed to just do and and do and draw whatever the fuck they want. Art isn't the same as hurting real people, blah, blah, blah. Again, art does not exist in a vacuum, okay? Art has themes, it has an emotional connection. That's why so many people love transformation art, because we have emotional connections to some of the pieces that we see depicted. Yep. And it impacts people, it impacts communities. You know, the first person who did fucking hoop TF, okay, that was a whole fucking hot fucking trend for I don't remember how long it was. It's I mean obviously it's still around, but like that shit was on fire for like a solid two, three months because people had an emotional connection to that. They were like, that's cool. I wanna do that. Like this is like the simplest fucking example of art having an impact on a community. And so when we talk about this kind of drawn material, it absolutely has a real world impact. And I cannot stress enough that it is a deeply fucked up thing to make art of that, post it somewhere, and just think that's fine. Like, it's not, it's not fine. <laughs> it's just not. It's no, not. Not at all. Um, <sighs> what the fuck? Um, yeah. I, 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 yeah. I think I think the other thing to like focus back on is uh remember that these people aren't just paying for work and a service. This is an act that hurts people. If if uh again just to stress this because shit gets shit gets missed. Remember that people will do things for money. Um whether they need it or they want it, they'll have to do it. Because that's the world what we are forced to live in right now. And people should not be at risk of not knowing any better or feeling pressure. Oh, if you really think it's wrong, then don't do it. Shit, man. When you're scared of dying or starving or anything like that, you're going to do stuff. You really are. Is it going to be something they can recover from? I don't fucking know. The point is that it's it's still a predatory act uh to make people do this stuff and if you're gonna wonder like well you know if they made it in the first place you know then clearly it couldn't have been like that predatory or whatever like it sounds like i'm overstating it so let me let me um let me clarify on this the people who want this stuff done are hard pressed to find anybody who will do it yes and for good reason (laughs) Yes. <laughs> so in order to get what they want, they have to use little tricks. They have to use little messages. They have to use little signals and tells, you know, something that art is good at doing and get what they want that way. And some people don't see it and they do it. And then they're like, holy shit, I didn't know. And other people do it and they feel pressure. Or then you have people like Bubby who seem to, Actually, just kind of like they just kind of farted in the on the internet and then uh, and then left. As far as I'm concerned, uh, <laughs> so no, really, like what what the fuck is this shit? Yeah, I know. I don't have another analogy for it. That's basically what it is. It's like day one. What? Ooh, this is spicy. Day two. Sorry if that made you feel uncomfortable. Day three. Awkward. Bye. Fuck out of here. Yeah. You're not that clever. Get get the <sighs> fuck out of here. And yeah. stay out, um, unless you got something meaningful to say. You know what? Um, restorative justice is great, um, but I'm really angry right now. So stay the fuck out. <laughs> you have a lot yeah, to prove. I mean, you know, listen. I, I do also want to say, like, there are probably some people who are concerned now about the situation we've described. Of like, hey, we don't know who this person is. You know, what if I've worked with them in the past and there were things that were maybe red flags, but I didn't really clue into it and I didn't really realize what was going on. And, you know, I was under X impression, but maybe they're taking it as Y, blah, blah, blah. Look, I I understand why that could be a concern. And obviously, like, we're, we're literally saying, hey, that could be a concern because this person's still going around potentially commissioning people. But I think, first of all, 
something to be mindful again if you are in a situation where you know it's between you know eating and doing whatever the fuck i'm always gonna defend your right to fucking survive just don't post it online but second of all if you do care about this community and you have the ability to say no and you are getting bad vibes assert your right to say no like there are a lot of people in this community who commission art okay one person who is making you uncomfortable is not the end of the world i guarantee you there are other people out there who would like to commission you who will not get you in legal jeopardy <laughs> yeah or just so or just make it or just make it hard for you to fucking sleep at night there's, yeah there's so many reasons to to not tolerate this as much as you can yeah. again because i have to repeat this because people we're humans and we we have a weird thing about listening to to shit but i get that sometimes you, you just do it and you you just do it because you gotta um this is just one of these things that you you can do at least over time you know have have enough have enough self-respect have enough awareness just to make mm -hmm. your life easier because yeah because trust me um the stuff that you put out people will want more if they like it enough and then it's going to be up to you to control that i know i had to do it with my work i had to do it over the years um but you know you see animal animal genitalia a lot and that's because like well duh that fits with the theme but you know um I did not like the presentation of the things that I was being asked after a while. And at first I was just kind of like, well, that's just the way it is, even though I'm like, don't like it. But then over time, I'm just like, man, there's a ton of reasons I don't like doing this on top of, on top of anything that I perceive or the way that this mm -hmm. could be taken. And I realized I don't want to do this anymore. And uh, if anybody asks me, they're going to get that boundary placed in front of them. They should, mm -hmm. they are not to push it. And they are, are, and if they want something from me, they are to submit to my demands if they want something mm. from me, because that's the mm. way it should be. Yeah. And that, and again, has, that's like that's yeah. a great example of you asserting your boundaries, but also like that is definitely at least a gray area. Like, yeah, people can have all different thoughts and opinions on that, and if you don't feel comfortable depicting it, you shouldn't have to, yes. because there will be other people who will be interested in commissioning you who won't necessarily want the thing that you have an issue with let, let me make and something else that's that simple yeah and let me make something else uh very fucking clear if anybody's looking at my work and uh decides that they want to take something to me um i have drawn like animal junk or animal like junk in some of my personal work in the past um and i just want to i just want to let you know um fuck you i am not a hypocrite for this because the reason for that is I know where I'm coming from with how I present things, but when other people want me to present certain things and include certain details, that is where I take issue with it. So it's like, I know what I'm saying and I know what I will try to express, but for this other person with these other themes, including this, I don't want to do that, you know, mm -hmm. because... Because yeah. you don't know what the context is. Yeah, I don't know what the context is and I don't exactly know how it's going to come off to other people when... I am like either sharing this or other people are sharing it because people share my work sometimes. Um, I don't want them to get the impression that I am just like, uh, like, yeah, I, I have like absolutely no scruples about this because I do. And I don't need to get into these discussions with people. Um, mm -hmm. There's just, you know, be aware, be aware of what you're doing. And it's also why, you know, it's also why I find it completely fucking awful that uh, that somebody had gone and done what Bubba did, because it could have been a really simple matter. And now, and now, I guess, I guess we're gonna see people uh, maybe argue about like why you know Bubby shouldn't have had to have left or why people need forgiveness. The forgiveness doesn't happen now because nothing was done that was that was you know that's that's earning that. They just fucking up and they just up up and packed their shit. That yeah. that doesn't. They could have stayed and had a conversation about it, but they chose not to. Like and very emphatically so. Yeah. Uh, so you know, I mean. Go make your living somewhere else. <laughs> this should not be it. 
And and fucking I and and I'm just gonna say straight up, you know, if Bubby ever makes a comeback and you people start seeing that, and there's no direct, and then there's no like direct, uh, you know, um, acknowledgments about what happened. Don't don't buy anything from them. Just don't do it. Oh, but I love Bubby's work. No, fuck off, man. By then, give me a fucking break. Have well, some it's, it's it's all about it's all about accountability here. Like, if there's no accountability, then you know, if you if there's no accountability, and then we choose to allow them to come back into the fold with open arms, like nothing happened, you are again putting the community in at legal risk. Like, I cannot state this strongly enough. Like, yes, if you allow people who do that kind of stuff to stay in the community and to continue doing things that are towing the line, you encourage other people to start doing the same thing. And then all of a sudden you've, you've, you've become a Nazi bar again, to go back to that fucking metaphor. Every, like every, so everything, happens. so everything you don't like is Nazis. I see. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I just, yes, I am the arbiter of morality now. Um, that that's what I've become now. Yeah, you are. Um, um and I am, it's true. Don't worry. But, I'll, I'll be the mean guy for you. You be the moral one. <laughs> okay. All right. But you know, I do also like, I want to also like mention that like, I did notice that the response was not completely universal and that does also concern me. And that's also why I wanted to make this episode because it was largely like, you know, the kind of response that I would hope to see in a community. Like most people were like, Hey, this is fucked up. Hey, you know, this thing happened and we shouldn't support it. We shouldn't support the artist. We shouldn't support the commissioner, blah, blah, blah. But there were also people who went to bat for this kind of content. And I think we would be remiss to also not mention that because again, when stuff like this happens and you know, someone puts their, uh, they put their foot out, they're towing the line or they're pushing the line. They're trying to see how much they can get away with. People see that and then they go, oh, is that something that we can do now? Can I start showing my ass in that way? And then those people start to emerge and defend defend Sam said person because they want to defend the toehold that is being established. So there were at least a small handful of people that I saw who were out there defending this entire situation and saying that drawn art is not the same thing as like, you know, uh, photography or videos and you cannot equate the two things. One isn't CP, blah, 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 blah you need to watch out for those kinds of people. I'm just like straight up. You need to watch out for those kinds of people because again, they are showing you who they are. Like when someone tells you who they are, believe them. Yes. And that is the kind of behavior that goes hand in hand with turning the community into an unsafe space for people. And let's also fucking be clear because I don't think this is often said enough too. There are literally minors who are into transformation and exist on spaces like fucking Twitter and Fur Affinity and shit like that, okay? And there, I, I have a lot of feelings about, you know, teenagers on the internet. I was Look, one at 1.2, we all were. Yeah. I'm, I'm not, like, passing judgment on that. But what I do want to say is that there are, you know, minors who are into transformation, who are engaging with it in a strictly safer work way, in a safe way, etc. We cannot have this space turn into something where CP is tolerated, if for any reason, to protect those kids. And I don't like to be like a think of the children person, but Sometimes I'm sorry, you I'm do. fucking saying it. Look, man, like, you gotta you do care have to think about them. You. I'm sorry, you do. Like, yeah. <laughs> what's what's like like? Oh, think of the children. Yes, yeah, sometimes put a little thought around kids. You don't want to hurt kids, do you? It's it's not really generally a good thing. You know, you want to talk about caring about others. Oh, you seem to care about issues, but like, you know, hey, man, just because I don't want to have kids doesn't mean I want to see them get fucked up by. By stuff like this yeah um and the internet is an even more fucked up place now in my opinion than it was in the past like it's there's always been like fucked up corners of the internet don't get me wrong but even especially these days there's even there's so much more fucked up shit out there and again if we are a going to call ourselves a community we need to think out for those people because they are literally marginalized marginalized 
members of the community. Like they are minors. They're yeah, kids. They're they're the ones you have that can to be, think about them. Like yeah, I, <laughs> they're the ones that can be taken advantage of. They're the ones that can be uh they're the ones that can be like fucked with the most and they just don't understand certain things. Plenty of us don't understand certain things. You're not gonna keep fucking underage people off the internet because it's open to everybody. And you can't police everybody every waking moment. So you do the best you can. You know? You want to be somebody who can, you know, you want to be somebody who feels like they can contribute something decent to the people around you? Then that, that's it's a pretty simple thing to do. You don't have to go mm. out and fight anybody or make a Twitter thread or anything. You don't even have to, uh, you know, fucking... You don't really have to do much of anything. You talk to people about it. I have taken the time to tell you know artist friends when they first started doing commissions you know if i knew certain people they would ask me hey what do you know about this client you ever heard of them because they want to avoid going through shit that i went through now yeah. if you want to talk about like defending if you want to talk about the people that like come out and defend some of this shit fuck you too you have the same shit going on or worse yet, and I think this is actually really fucked up, and you need to really restructure your pers your perspective. Yeah, your perspective. You need to understand that whatever you're ashamed of, all right, whatever you're ashamed of, you doesn't mean that you need to stick up for other people's like quirks, all right. You are not the same. As the people who are who are catching flack for this, you know, if you like if, if you like a little bit of not on a cock, that is not something to be concerned about in the same way that this is where somebody like, oh, what if somebody gives me, you know, like uh, trouble for this or like tries to or tries to bob me. No, 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 no. That is not the same thing. And it's a different conversation. And it also, even, again, legally, it's not even the fucking same thing. Yeah. There's just so many reasons that, um, there's just so many reasons that this is wrong. Uh, and also, I'd like to say, because of someone that I saw talking about this, mentioning, mentioning all the other stuff. Oh, so name them? Uh, what the fuck was the name then? It was, it was the one with that fucking blue avatar. I don't know. <laughs> Atlas. Okay, yeah. You, you motherfucker. Talking about, oh, everybody else jerks off to, like, forced transformation and rape and, you know, and all this other stuff. And, and, uh, and you're gonna, and, and you're gonna say that, like, suddenly this isn't okay. That other stuff is not okay either. Okay. All right, it's not okay, but you're spending your time now complaining that your content machine is gone. If anybody else thinks like that, you can also eat shit. I'm not. I. I, I don't. I don't fucking. I don't fucking allow that shit to uh, to just stand. And nobody mm. is smart for saying, "Oh my god, it's just art. You don't have to engage with it." Yeah. Well, guess what, asshole? You were engaging with it, and now you're upset that it's gone. I guess it does have an effect on people. <laughs> Fuck you and everybody who thinks like you. Yeah. And I mean, like in the case of in the case of that person, I mean, there was a. A long thread that was posted as well about how they also are like an enabler of cp stuff so you know like fuck you too buddy um but you know it's just that kind of thought process again it's just so toxic and it is so concerning to see people parrot because again like i, I cannot be any more clearer about this like you the other stuff that was that you just like listed off libra like we can have conversations about that and frankly shit like rape is bad and should not be part of transformation either but guess what cp again is literally illegal if all you care about is the health of the community i fucking implore you to at least fucking call this shit out above everything else because again it literally endangers the safety of the community it cannot yeah. be any clearer than that if nothing else again if nothing else besides the morality of it because it's obviously fucked up from a morality perspective if nothing else 
think about it from that perspective. Yeah, I, I, I also, what the fuck did I really want to say? There was something else. It has a lot to do with, um, with just how people seem to conveniently not mention those things until something of theirs gets, uh, gets impugned or gets, uh, or, or, you know, is just removed for them. Yeah. Well, it's, it's, again, it's people telling on themselves because they only mention that when the thing they actually cared about has been removed. So, you know, this person is only mentioning these other things that they have an issue with because CP was removed. Like, otherwise they're not going around talking about that. Because, oh, yeah. hey, that's a conversation that could be had. It we wasn't had it fair. on this podcast. It wasn't like, fair. You know, it wasn't fair. It didn't have to take everything away. It was like one thing. It was one thing. That one thing is is is, is fucking diseased. It's diseased. Yeah. You fucking people, man. You know, it's it it's really it's really not worth it. And but, you know, to to those enablers, um you people should also be known. I think, yeah. uh, so that you can have maybe conversations with people whose opinions you value, uh, and maybe they'll be able to tell you something that doesn't suck. Yeah. You know, I, sh I could only hope so. Yeah, me too. And again, like, I think what's important to also mention is like, we're not, we're not talking about this to try and send people on witch hunts. That no is brigading. not what we're saying. No There's brigading. No, no brigading, no harassment. But yeah. what we are saying is people need to know for their own safety and for the safety of the people around them that certain people engage with this kind of content. That's it. Yeah. Do you not... can do, you can, you can, like that person was saying, you can uh, cater your online experience and remove that potential uh, legal liability from your life. It's very simple. It's called the block button. And then you move on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's it <laughs> yeah the, the, don't don't let these don't let these people twist uh very very pragmatic things into the very stupid things that they're making them out to be you can you can you can ignore it but also when you're not busy ignoring it if it does come into your space you can be a little proactive about it you don't mm -hmm. ha hey you know speaking of like not brigading or not harassing or anything like that which say like a third fourth fifth thousandth time don't fucking do it um but interpersonally you can do that be like hey man i didn't know that was a thing for you what the fuck is going on with you you know mm -hmm. shit like that you know you got artist friends be like look man remember that shit that happened last time this one has the same kind of streak watch out for it see what they want from you make your choice that is what i do there's a bunch of yeah. people that i don't that i would have rather not worked with again but i did for money and i'm just and i think about my artist friends and i think man do they really want to deal with this let me tell them maybe they don't want to deal with it even though i do be considerate yeah. interpersonal yeah. the risk is minimal if you're afraid of losing friends over this shit oh my oh please get some new friends or, or 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 make or make a final stand for the ones that you have because because yeah. you do not you do not want to get mixed up with that shit because because yeah. you know the other problem with this is um this isn't just like private space this got out of like somebody's like neighborhood on the block or whatever mm -hmm. you know this is um th this, this was this... in the public square like, yeah. this was not gated in a secret furry chat. It was not in some, like, random Discord. Again, this was on Fur Affinity, where there's fucking... I don't know how many people on it. I don't fucking yeah. know what the user count is. Like, anyone and, could go on there and see it. Yeah, but, but also this was pushed. I think that's another thing that I really want to just hammer home as much as possible... It was very deliberately done. There was no whoops. There was no remorse. There was just like, I know this is fucked up. I think you guys might think it's fucked up too. Yeah, good good going. Um, you certainly did a fucked up thing. Great. There, there's, 
there's no ambiguity to it and uh people like to push these agendas as well where they will want this to be normalized and okay which leads to predatory behavior which is like a cascading effect and if this sounds like fear mongering it's just the way things are and the way things have been there's nothing to there's nothing like new to be scared of the only thing that's really new about this is i guess the sheer volume this is such a loud issue I've been I've been aware of this for over 10 fucking years and I've been on FA for over 10 years now. And this yeah. is the first time, the first time that there was just something like just not purely gossipy to have happened that matters. Like to me yeah. too. This yeah, me like I, like again, I want to be clear like this isn't like oh we're making an episode about this because it's some drama and like tee hee hee let's talk about it. oh like, yeah that was this the thing. Is hold on serious this yeah. is serious shit yeah that's okay? like, that's what i wanted to say before i forget again the, the 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 idea that people would wrap this up in the word drama is disgusting and horrible um without getting too much into it just know that the idea of using the term drama to encapsulate something like this and just call it a day is like the most willfully ignorant shit to like completely make it a um a, a really uh well just drama like, implies that it's like oh it's two sides going back and forth and blah 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 and listen i understand that drama might be like a shorthand that some person might think like without saying it i'm not going after those people i'm mm -hmm. talking about we i think we're talking about the people who are dismissing the yes. entire situation as drama like that's, we're that's, talking about those people specifically but okay? that's that, i want to be that very clear that is what i'm talking about specifically um the word the term on the internet uh, actually anywhere it's just like oh it's just some drama that's how it is always brought up always always it is a um it is a trivial thing you know, between like a, a trivial thing between trivial people for trivial situations. It is at best entertaining, but more than anything, it's not important. Mm -hmm. This is not a drama. This is a problem. Yeah. Then yeah. and by and by no fucking means should anybody also accept that oh there's just some drama that came up with Bubby. Fuck fucking no. No no no. Get your shit together. Yeah. Again it's serious and Again, I just I think what stunned so many people was again just how blatant and flippant the whole thing was. Mm -hmm. Like it was just it was posted. There were no fucking like hand waves. That's exact. We knew exactly what it was. Everyone fucking knew exactly what it was, and it was like Tihi, a really fun and dark commission. <laughs> I I I cannot remember the last time that something like this happened where it was so fucking blatant. And that's what really, really worries me that, you know, people might have it in their head. Again, these specific people are thinking now is the right time to do something like this. And again, like, I just, what bothers me the most is the fact that we are in such a fucking turbulent time in the world, like not to get on the soapbox, but like trans rights are under assault all over the world okay queer rights are under assault all around the world and a large portion of the furry community is queer and or trans and you know so that's why i hesitate to use even that groomer term because it's been again thrown around so fucking like incorrectly and it has casually. been used it has been weaponized against like yes. queer and trans and yes. queer but more 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 conveniently trans folk where yes. that's that's the shit that they've been doing exactly so then if you have a community that is predominantly queer predominantly trans something on that uh spectrum and then you have someone fucking posting cp it's like do you want to hand all these people who are trying to take away our rights like you know a fucking uh an easy win do we want that no of course not because that's not what we believe in as a community not only and that if it's allowed to fester that is what will end up happening yeah Sorry, go ahead no, no i just i just also want to say on a on what is i guess more trivial in the way uh, no it's not let, let me just put it to you this way it's just another thing to stack on to everything mm -hmm. um if you're worried about normies finding out about your secret porn life this is a great way to do it, um, to allow this to get out into spaces where they think, oh, there's a child pornography problem in this transformation space. Yeah. That, that will be deeply fucked up for so many people. 
that should not be allowed to happen because these people do and should not represent us. Yeah. They should not be the biggest ones or the loudest ones. And if they are big and loud, they should be they should be fucking regarded as a problem and dealt with accordingly. You know, fucking get banned, take their shit off, do not commission them. Oh, yeah. and on the like a uh, thing in case people give with the whole like oh boycotts don't work thing, let me tell you the difference. It is different between it is different between knowing that anything you buy will go to one of seven super corporations, you know, no matter where you buy it from in North America. And uh and people being like, you know that one person who gives you this particular thing or service, just don't buy it from them. That's really simple. It's very different and it's so much easier to do, especially since somebody else can do what they're doing in their own special way yeah. yeah not even to be i'm not even trying to be a shit i mean literally you want like a special piece of work that is you can call yours done for you holy shit there are others who can do it you might even think it's better don't be don't be a fucking idiot yeah there's just there's a plethora of incredible artists in this community who don't do that shit yeah. It's really easy. It's really easy to find someone who will do TF art who won't do that shit. So, you know, I, God. Yeah. I, I do yeah. actually want to say one other thing as well, though, not yeah. to cut you off. But one thing yeah. I do also want to say is, look, I understand that there's also a large portion of the community that are lurkers and they don't say anything ever online. And look, I get that. I really do. I'm not saying that all of a sudden you need to, like, make a Twitter account and, like, your first tweet needs to be, like, I'm condemning this. Like, that that's not what I'm saying. Yeah. I understand that this is a daunting sort of topic to even engage in. So, you know, if you are staying silent, I understand. I might think that maybe you should try to say something, but I understand that. And I'm not passing a moral judgment on you. However, if you are at least active in the TF community, I would encourage you to say something because you will always be surprised at how many people will see a post like that or hear you say something and it will mean the world to them, okay? There are plenty of people in this community who have, to be completely blunt, like very traumatic backgrounds that may touch on topics like this. And if you want to make sure that people understand that, you know, you are a person who cares about other people in the community and really wants to make sure it's a safe space for people, saying that you don't tolerate this kind of shit goes a long, long fucking way towards making those people, again, feel safer in this community where we all have this shared interest and want to explore it in a way that is safe and meaningful and isn't running the risk of getting fucking shut down by the fence. So <laughs> yeah, and 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 I'm so glad that you put it that way because um, because I I totally agree. Nobody needs to go out and like you're just like if we don't need to do anything, you say this and that. This is because not everybody is built for the same kind of situation, same kind of conflict. Mm -hmm the same kind of problem solving or maybe they just don't have the fucking energy for this shit in their fucking life you know that's why we need that that's why we're giving like so many different like approaches and outs and also like you know giving you the peace of mind to know that there are many ways that you can do good about this situation um and i will stress i will stress that, that at the very least interpersonally all right a friend, a private conversation that nobody else has to know about. You think something fucked up is going on or you perceive something? Talk to them about it. You should yeah. know. You should know who it is that you are spending your time with and, you know, and and whether you're okay with that. Yeah. Cuz th that's important. And that is and and as difficult as interpersonal matters can be, you also don't need to expose yourself to strangers who will jump the gun or do something awful like brigade people and don't brigade people, you know, don't fucking do it. It's it's like I made my call out. Fuck you. But that's me doing it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And again, I just like 
you know, I, I also want to say that, you know, I'm sure there are people who have in the past encountered people on this spectrum. I know I have. And maybe because you were younger and you didn't know better, you didn't know how to assert your boundaries, you didn't know how to challenge them, and then, you know, the interaction came and went. Don't beat yourself up for that, but learn from it. Grow from it. Understand where you are now in relation to where you were when that interaction might have happened. I know I've personally had to grow on that front because when I was younger, there were definitely creeps I dealt with. Okay, I feel like there's a lot of stories that people have about dealing with creeps, particularly women. But that's a whole, I guess I just, what I want to say is don't beat yourself up if you had a past experience where someone was violating those boundaries or they were being fucking creepy and shit and you didn't know what to do in the moment. But let's try and use this time to self-reflect and, and grow as a community. Like, we don't always have the capacity to do so, but we should always try. And at the very least, it's perfectly valid to literally throw that block button and remove yourself from the uncomfortable interaction. Like, I gotta say, being liberal with the block button can do a lot of wonders. You don't owe people your time or energy, and if they're fucked up and we need to show them the door, that's the step to do it. So, mm -hmm. it it's um it will be for the betterment of you and those around you. There is a lot to say about. You'd be surprised how a few conversations with the right people can make for incredibly big changes in people's lives. You know, there is that there's there's just. There's just so many possibilities. Um, and because I've also had a lot of sh fucked up experiences, um, I do my best in my own little ways to help people either out of those situations or to understand them. Mm -hmm. I don't want that for other people. And um, now that I have the privilege of having any kind of platform to talk about something like this, that means a lot to me. I'm taking it. Um, this is this is me trying to help a little bit. You know, I have my own server. I have my own spaces. I curate them. And this is just one other step uh, that I would like to take. And people are free to be uh, angry at me because there's nothing I could really do to stop them. But uh, understand that I'm not really scared of you fucking people. Um, and nobody should really have to be afraid of either disengaging with these kinds of people or these kinds of subjects. If you're scared of that, then find some help in some friends or something else because you're seeing more of a problem. Nobody should have to be worried about this kind of thing, uh, whether it's uh, posting, you know, posting actually illegal shit or... Um, or making life harder for others. It is hard enough to know that, like, the stuff that gives me a boner um, can make me look, like, absolutely abhorrent to just about anybody on the street. I could be easily uh, lumped in with some of the worst kinds of people that you can think of just for that. Mm -hmm. And that's why I have so much sympathy, and that's why I care about this space and just trying to translate a better learning experience about this for other people. I went through a lot of hurt and I was also um and I was also lucky enough to have somebody who would give a shit to listen to me. That is a luxury mm -hmm. sometimes. So I also want to listen to people and I want to be able to have conversations with them and I want to be able to do it in a way that uh that is helpful. Uh the idea that you know, people are allowed to do whatever they want is not constructive. We can all do whatever we want. Mm -hmm. So what? Like, like, come on, man. Yeah. And again, I also want to just stress that, like, above all else, you know, if it can be uh, sometimes going through, you know, someone's tf interest like grappling with that and doing that self-reflection can be difficult and if you do have the ability to talk to people about it it's something you should always take um it, it, it can be really hard to grapple through those kinds of topics and you know again there's a lot of gray zones related to tf 
I think we, we all always, understand that. Look, we can but... always talk about that more, like, in a future episode, because there's so much to talk about, and, like, and trust me, like, even now, like, um, say with, like, any new partner I may have, even in this, it's like, well, you know, what differences will we have that may come off as, like, skeevy, you know, uncomfortable, mm -hmm. uh, how do we discuss these things? You know, what needs to be discussed? Um, that comes up as needed. And um, when it comes to... And when it comes for people being able to do that, I want... I, I just want this to also be the place where you don't have to talk about why it's okay to have kid porn um, yeah. as part of your themes. Don't do that. Yeah. Already had a few people like that. Um, and uh, yeah... Yeah, I, just... I, I already thought of one other person who does that kind of shit, and it's disgusting. Oh, yeah. Who is that? Who? Oh, um, I only remember the name Nestor. Mm. Yeah, Nestor uh, was the name I remember. This is a guy who apparently uh, worked with kids, and he liked making these little fantasies about having them turn into little donkeys and going to shit and piss out in the yard. Um, and I, and you could argue anything you want, but that's creepy fucking shit, man. Don't, yeah. don't, don't, don't give me any of that, like, oh, that's so, uh, that's so unfair of you. It's so hypocritical of you. Kiss my ass, asshole. You don't, you, you don't, you don't get away with that. Um, and if anybody ever gets fucking pressured by somebody like that to, like, do a story or a little RP, you know, just, just tell them that it's fucked up. You don't have to go on a diatribe. You don't have to re-educate them. You know, you can yeah. simply tell them, hey, man, you know, that's pretty fucked up. You'd want to do that to kids. Um, and I don't want to do this. And you don't have to proceed with anything. There's no need to attack. There's no need to uh, parade anything. Um, and hell, I also am saying this because in case anybody else ever runs into whoever whatever Nestor fucking goes by. People like to freely talk about people like Andrew Rinaldi. Oh my god, did you see and Andrew Rinaldi was in your chat? Oh my god. Oh shit, man. In comparison, it's just a bit of an art pest and so easy to ignore. Mm -hmm. All right? That's okay. not... That... He doesn't come close to any of this shit. Like... Yeah, that's <laughs> like, like, is he weird, uncomfortable, socially, whatever? Yeah, sure. But you know what? Uh, Hey! Not not a lick of illegal porn or uh, or traumatizing content. Yeah. Uh, wow! Look at the bar that was cleared. Look how fucking easy that was. Yeah, that Somehow, Bubby couldn't charity, clear. Charity TF guy and Andrew Rinaldi. No, not Charity TF that. guy. Oh no! No, Charity TF guy. That motherfucker is very like right wing brained. You haven't you haven't heard the stories to talk to him enough. I. I guess I haven't. He but, has not bothered me enough. I've I've escaped that one for the I, most part. I've like, seen I've seen things from other people, and frankly, he's got mental illness. Very mm -hmm. clearly does, but also his mental illness. It, 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 wow, his mental illness has been um, has been turned to those kind of politics. So that's going to be there. But not in a CP way. But not. But not. I don't know. I was talking specifically from that bar, but okay, fair enough. <laughs> oh, from that bar. I'm sorry. I'm just trying to be like, hey, you know, um, that's why I didn't bring him up as an example as like, yeah, oh, you know, fair. here's some good that's people fair. with good politics and who aren't going to hurt like queer folk. <laughs> yeah, no, that's, like, fair. that's I, fair. I don't give that chair. I don't get, I'm not charitable to that guy. <laughs> uh, yeah. Rim shot. It's, um,. Yeah, it's it's very easy to look at people and be like, oh, they're weird and shit. But fucking it's this stuff is the stuff that matters. This is the kind of thing that you like really like should be ready to ready and willing to tell people about your friends, yeah. if nobody else. Yeah. You know, that's that's like the conscionable thing to do. You don't have to yeah. expose yourself to, to the fucking masses or anything. Yeah, absolutely not. And again, like, I'm not saying that people need to go out on mass and start, like, posting, like, oh, I condemn this or whatever, especially if you're not, like, someone who is actually active in these spaces. But if you have friend groups and, you know, you've seen this shit happen, it's good to, like, mention to other people, like, hey, watch out for said person or, hey, this thing happened that made me uncomfortable 
this thing was like, you know, very like disturbing, blah, blah, blah. Talking about those things is important and we shouldn't feel like we have to tread on eggshells when we talk about these kinds of topics. Because if you feel like that's going to start an argument again, like Libra said earlier, that's a bad sign. Like yeah. this, this is, this is a very, again, very low bar. Don't support CP. This, Clear that bar, please. <laughs> I beg of you. <laughs> this is an adult space. Be adult. If you're not, if you're going to like, like actually be an adult, it's it's not it's not that bad. Did you know that being an adult can actually have uh, oh, advantages? It can. Uh, yeah, you can not be a kid who is marginalized and vulnerable and be mm-hmm. an adult who is mm-hmm. more learned and stronger and has better social standing and legal standing mm-hmm. than kids do. If you cannot yeah. adult today, learn to learn soon. So that you too and, can be more powerful than a kid. <laughs> <laughs> and again, there are kids also in these spaces uh, on like the safer work side. And I do strongly believe in like trying to protect them from this kind of shit because people like that, they do go looking for kids and that's fucking terrifying. And we should not tolerate that in any way. And Let- that starts with kicking those fuckers out. So, and just to handle this distinction, because people get fucking pedantic, kids does involve any like, oh, 16, 17. Don't be a fucking creep, you asshole. Don't yeah. do that. Do They're not minors. do that. It is very. If you don't want to use the term kid. It's a minor, okay? Like, yeah, minor, underage. That's why I like saying underage because. You know, that's a big sweeping category where you can just, you know, it shuts you down. You're like, ah, hmm. Yeah. Like, yeah, that's, uh, that's what it is. Ah. <sighs> well, I think we covered pretty much everything. Yeah. Unless I'm missing something. I, I, I mean, I don't know if there could be any follow up to this. Um,. I I think it was good to at least talk about this one time. Mm-hmm. Um, ignoring this would have felt really weird. Yeah. And um, since we care about all of this and our experience and like relate to to others with this uh, with transformation being like this weirdly specific thing for us mm-hmm. that has like probably more people like discovering that about themselves like oh this is a thing i can enjoy on certain levels um i really want my time uh being any kind of presence here to be one that did the best possible uh for the people that are in it i agree and you know again i i it would have been really weird to just gloss over this and that was also why i wanted to do this and have this conversation this is not like the the standard for episodes moving forwards. Um, like we have a great interview lined up for next week, but man, it's you know, our talk show. Would you like to well, listen? Yes, to but it? also I guess I just I, I want to make sure that people understand that like this is something that is very important, and that's why we're talking about it. Like, all right, all right, yeah, I understand. It, I just want people to understand that that like it would have been weird to just gloss over it and i wouldn't have felt comfortable not saying something about it so yes yes it's you not know gonna, it, which we're not we're not gonna deep. we're not gonna be getting on we're not gonna start attacking like just single artists or anything like that as yeah. like a normal thing but no but yes it's like zil said it's very it's it's a very important thing yeah for for someone whose rule in life is like don't tweet personal opinions uh this is important and uh that's why i wanted to do this like you gotta you gotta shut this shit down when it crops up you just you absolutely have to and draw the line yeah uh need people to know that you know the way we feel about things is not ambiguous these are plain statements being made if you got more questions for us fucking bring them (laughs) yeah again happy to answer any questions on any of this if you have a question about this you can always leave us a comment or use the tf tuesday pod hashtag or you can join our patreon (laughs) patreon.com slash tf tuesday pod and then you can send us all the questions you want it's very easy i'm gonna read them either way but yeah yeah, you can talk to us there you want to interrogate me that's fine please like you can join that and do it there and i will answer your questions so you know 
Um, and if we don't, there ain't going to be skirting. It's going to be like, nah, you don't need to know about that. Move along. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, well. Um, um, so, closing thoughts, Zill? <sighs> fuck. Yeah. CP is bad. Don't tolerate it. It's literally illegal. And traumatizing. Yes. And, um, yeah, that's a perfectly that's a perfectly fine closing thought. My closing thought is um, do be vocal about people who um, who are actually uh, predatory and harmful. Being predatory can mean anything from, you know, shit that people already think of with the term. Like, oh my god, you mean like trying to get you to do sex stuff? But, you know, just just trying to manipulate and pressure people into doing things. They target people to get things for a reason. Don't allow it. And if you are scared of it, get some help from somebody to help you with it. Absolutely, absolutely do things about this. This is not drama. This is a problem. And, uh, yeah. And, uh, yeah. Do appreciate everybody listening. Um, I hope that you got something out of this. If only a little yeah. bit of catharsis, you can let someone like me do uh, the cursing and the swearing <laughs> to people. If you don't want to do it yourself, I'm perfectly <laughs> okay with doing that most days. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. This is true. <laughs> um, well, yeah. Thank you so much again, everyone for listening. Uh, we'll have a interview next week that I'm looking forward to sharing, but in the meantime, I hope everyone stays safe in their online experiences and that you all have a good week and keep an open mind and stay tfe all yep and don't forget talk to people about your experiences okay don't yep. don't let that shit fester either you'll see you next time see you next week <laughs>